Last year, Anycubic released the Viper, a feature-rich machine that came in at a budget-friendly price and had print quality that would make even a finely tuned Ender 3 jealous. That machine really put Anycubic on the map for me in terms of FTM machines, so I bugged my contact there to send me their almost five-year-old Chiron machine, and their response got me pretty excited. They said, sit tight, we've got something coming. This is the Anycubic Cobra Max. It's a gigantic FDM printer with a build volume of 400 by 400 on the X and Y and 450 on the Z axis. Here's the bed from an Ender 3 for comparison. It comes equipped with a volcano style hot end for great volumetric flow rates and fully automatic bed leveling. Turning knobs and sliding paper under your hot end is becoming a thing of the past and I couldn't be happier. The first thing I printed was this giant articulated lizard. And although my settings weren't dialed in, the sheer size of this thing is amazing. Next, I moved on to a 400% scale infinity cube. One thing I overlooked here was that the tolerances in this model aren't designed to be scaled. That left some pretty gross layers due to printing in midair, but again, the size is just incredible. Now I'm not going to spend a lot of time tuning this thing with a .4 nozzle, because it took over 35 hours to print this infinity cube. I think a 0.6mm nozzle would be the bare minimum to use with a machine of this size unless you're looking for insane quality and don't mind print times of up to 3 or 4 days. Instead I'm going to jump to my personal favorite nozzle size for functional prints, the glorious 1.2mm nozzle. I ran a quick calibration test to make sure I had decent settings and here are the results. One print I use almost daily is this watering can but I'd love a bigger one for the outside garden. Let's cue this thing up in 3D Jake's Magic PLA with a layer height of 0.75 millimeters. During this print I ran out of filament, but the runout sensor worked as advertised and I was able to swap to a new spool of filament and resume the print with no issues. And take a look at the finished product. At only 11 hours print time, this thing turned out great. I still have some fine tuning to do, such as a slightly lower layer height to avoid things like this, and some work on my retraction settings. But this is for the outside garden, so I'm not too worried about how watertight this print is. That's all I have time to show today, but stay tuned for a time-lapse video of giant 3D prints. Huge thanks to Matthew and the team at Anycubic for making an awesome 3D printer and sending it in exchange for an honest review. And thank you for watching. Be safe and happy printing.